for day three of hearings that could lead to him being released from prison for a murder he continues to claim he did not commit. This type of hearing is unique, with the judge being very involved in the questioning and on the hot seat now, the man who sent Johnson away. Russell Kinsall has been covering that hearing for us. Russell. But Corey, the judge David Mason has cut off long-winded attorneys and he dismissed an expert witness yesterday saying she was unnecessary. His questions and his comments seem to indicate that he has some real concerns about the way police and the prosecution and the defense attorney handle the case. I want you to listen to this exchange between one of Lamar Johnson's attorneys and the prosecutor on the case and then for the judge's comments, but you're going to have to wait for it. I think he said without the eyewitness identification, you would have never you would have never filed charges against Lamar Johnson. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, I didn't, and that's that he'd had a confession. I didn't have any evidence. Thank you. You're welcome. Start of that, please. Judge David Mason has taken an active role in getting the facts he'll need to decide if Lamar Johnson was wrongfully convicted of a 1994 murder. The second shooter, who has since died, pled guilty to manslaughter after Johnson's conviction because the star witness disappeared and wasn't available to testify. Yesterday, Judge Mason dismissed an expert on witness testimony because he said he could see for himself that police overly influenced the witness to identify Johnson. The judge spoke up today and asked the prosecutor in the case what he thought about another man who came forward to say he and not Johnson was one of the shooters. The prosecutor said he didn't trust the confession. And Mason spoke out about the $4,000 the witness received after IDing Johnson, which was for him to move to a safer place as part of a victim protection program, as well as other expenses. But he said the defense attorney should have asked about that during the trial if it influenced the witness's cooperation with police. It's kind of like if a witness says, I was paid a fee. Then the person cross examining witness says, how much were you paid? How reasonable is that fee? And then the jury can hear this, and the jury can say, well, you know, this relocation stuff really helped change this man's life. He had nothing. And now that he got all this relocation assistance, he got some help off to something. That's something that the jury can take into account. Lamar Johnson is scheduled to take the stand tomorrow. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4. And you can stay up to date with the trial by downloading the KMLV News app. There we'll send you an alert with the latest breaking news when it arrives into our newsroom. Tomorrow,